Hi there everyone, this is CPW Confessions here again. And I'm here today to share with you a new foundation brush that I just uh, started using from Shiseido. Um, so this is a little bit of a review and also I'm doing a, a kind of a demo to show you how I use the brush in my makeup routine. So to tell you a little bit about this brush and to start, sorry about my hair, it's a hot mess today. But um, to start, this brush is from Shiseido, it's called their Perfect Foundation Brush. And I met with some Sh Shiseido people recently and they showed uh, some of the press some of their latest products that they have out, including um, this brush and also their shimmering eye cream um, eyeshadows and um, their Future LX Serum and also their Bio Performance uh, Facial Cream. So this is also one of the products that they showed. And to want to give you a little bit of a close-up look at that. So let me get you to see that. So this brush is um, very tightly packed bristles. It's all synthetic. And each one of the bristles is slightly slanted. And also, the as you can see, the brush itself, when it's packed together, is also slanted. So it's really great at picking up um, the foundation or whatever you choose to use, whether it's cream or liquid or powder. It's really good at picking it up and evenly depositing it on your face. Um, I was really happy to get this in my in my bag when they were able to um, to give us a few things to try out, and um, I've been kind of amazed by it for the couple of weeks that I've been using it. So um, you know, another tidbit about this is. You know, the Japanese have been renowned for a, a long time for making excellent brushes for artistry and, and whatnot. So this is following in that tradition. Um, Shiseido went to a traditional brush workshop in Japan and had them help them create this brush. So that's something that's pretty cool. So um, I was excited about that. And again, it's all synthetic, so vegans don't have to worry about any concerns. But... Um, let me get started to show you how I use this. So what I usually do is, um, depending on the type of foundation I'm using, I'll uh, go ahead and use my hand just to kind of mix it up with. I need to get one of those professional type stainless steel uh, deals, but I haven't yet. So for now, it's just me applying makeup for myself. I'm not applying it for anyone else. So. This is just fine. So what I'm going to use today is um, a little bit of a mixture that I have. Um, I don't want a super uh, high coverage, so I'm using a mixture of Boots uh, Number no. Seven Soft and Sheer Tinted Moisturizer in Dark. Sorry that the it gets a little bit dirty, so sorry about that. And I'm also using my much love Mehron Celebra Pro HD makeup and I'm not sure what color this is. I'll tell you later. But I'm using that. Let me open it to give you a better look. Um so this is actually a little bit dark for me at this point in the year. It's a little colder so um the uh Tinted moisturizer will help to thin it out and, and make it a sheer coverage so it'll really blend in with my skin. So I'm just going to put a dab of tinted moisturizer and I'm going to take a scrape of the Mehron. I'll put that here. And I like to kind of work it in once I have it on my skin because it helps it warm to your skin tone and makes it easily blendable. So once I do that on the main run, I'm just going to kind of use this here. I'm actually using the back of um, my tweezers to blend that. And so I want to have it kind of mixed together, not completely. I'll go ahead and take the uh, Shiseido brush and just kind of work it in. Mix it in a little bit more. And then I'll start to apply it. So apply it to this side first, or this side, this side. 
And the thing I like about this brush is that because it's slanted and tightly packed, it's able to get into like um, all the little crevices. And I usually have, you know, more trouble getting into the crevices when I'm getting around my under my eye area. And I want to make sure that it's nicely blended there. So this really helps with that. So now that I've, I've set the base with the foundation that I chose to use, um, another thing that I like to do is I use um, a different, something different for under eye circles. I tend to get under eye circles sometimes. I don't know if you can tell so much in this video, but sometimes I'm a little bit prone to that. So I took a little bit more of a Mehron and I mix it with a little bit of my Eve Pearl Styling Concealer. It's kind of rubbed off. You can tell I use it a lot. Um, so this is Eve Pearl Styling Concealer in dark. And what I do is just take a little bit of that, scrape that out, and mix it with my foundation. Take a little bit more. There we go. And so what I end up with is um, something that's really blendable, you can see here, and it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone is, so that it can kind of um, brighten around the, the eye area. And also, the e Pro Salmon Concealer has a bit of a oranginess to it that neutralizes the blue that you tend to get with under eye circles. So I've really been enjoying using that. So I'll put that under my eyes now. All right, so now that I've neutralized dark circle area, I can now go on to some of the finishing. And um, today what I'm going to finish with for my base is um, my Makeup Forever HD foundation. Now, if you're going to use this for professionally or if you're going to uh, plan on being photographed or filmed, know that for photography, um, you can get a little bit of a whiteness and ghostiness if you use too much of this. So you want to use very little. If you're going to be filmed for TV or other sorts of filming, um, you can be a little bit more generous with it. It's really made for HD broadcast.
So I just used um, the opportunity to, when I'm putting on my powder to kind of really blend in um, for the sides and the corners of, of my face. Make sure that I have a nice soft finish and also that I'm able to, you know, blend in any hard areas from the foundation. What I use for that is my Glam Core Finish Brush. And I have the whole set of the Glam Core brushes and I really enjoy them. Um, I got them from the IMAT show in New York um, that passed just, I guess it was April. So I really enjoy this. It's really great at, at as it says, finishing and making sure that everything is beautifully blended in, especially around the hairline. Sometimes it can be hard to kind of get something that's good at, at blending around the hairline. So that's it for my base. Um, that's pretty much how I use the Shiseido Perfect Foundation Brush. It's really e easy to use. It's small, so it's easy to control. And it's also great at being able to put in a small makeup case so you can take it with you um, and have it in your purse for travel or just for touch-ups during the day. So I hope you enjoyed that. And you can get the Shiseido Perfect Foundation Brush from Shiseido.com for $30 or also probably at your nearest Shiseido retailer. Thank you.